weed eaters. Welcome back to the greenhouse. I'm Beth Myers Shanai with the Oregon Department of Agriculture's Noxious Weed Control Program. And I'm here to introduce you to another one of the noxious weeds from our educational specimen garden. I have with me today, oblong spurge. We have a number of weedy spurges in Oregon, um, three of them on our noxious weed list. And um, this one is especially prevalent in Western Oregon and the other two are more issues in Eastern Oregon. So this one is oblong spurge. It is an A-listed weed in Oregon, which means it's one of our highest priorities to control. The other two are leafy spurge, which is a B-listed weed, but we call it a target weed, so we still give it some priority. And the other one is myrtle spurge, um, one that's primarily an escaped ornamental. So back to our oblong, A-listed spurge, very important to be found and um, controlled in Oregon, especially here in Western Oregon where it's found. It also appears to have been um, ornamental in origin, as well as a contaminant in some other kinds of seeds that are harvested, so it can possibly move around that way as well. Unfortunately, my specimen here in the greenhouse is not growing very typical to what I see when I'm in the field working on control. Um, it does have very reddish stems all the way down to the base, which is very typical in the field, especially as the season progresses and it gets a little warmer and drier. Um, and it does have very distinctive um, bright green leaves with a very distinctive mid vein of a light creamy color. Um, it has a milky sap to it, which you'll find in all of the spurges. And I'm being careful not to touch because I have one little spot where I um, nipped a leaf off of and it actually is exuding that sap right now. Let me see if I can turn this so you can see that little bit of milky sap starting to come out of this stem. Hopefully you can. Um, but that can be very um, irritating to your skin and give you a little bit of a rash. Um, so if you're doing a lot of control of this where you're going to be handling plants, always a good idea to wear gloves with this one. So the part of my specimen here that's very atypical is that I don't have triangular shaped bracts here where the, the bright yellow is at the top. The interesting thing about um, this spurge, well, spurges in general, is that the yellow color is actually a leafy bract underneath the main flower, which is a very nondescript tiny little thing. So it's the showy yellow bracts that give it its, its um, kind of ornamental quality. And normally these showy yellow bracts get pretty big and triangular shaped, but here in this greenhouse condition, and I have a feeling it's because of the small pot I have this one in, it's not really expressing um, the more robust size of bracts. And even um, this, the way that the, um, these flowering parts come off of the main stem, there are five um, different stems coming out in kind of a ray um, in a whorl. And generally those are longer and a lot more prevalent um, in the field as well. But you can pretty much get a feel for the color, the, the bright white mid vein or creamy colored mid vein. Um, and if you have any that have gone to seed, and I do have some seed pods forming, this would not be happening in the field. It's very early um, in the season for this. We'll be able to catch this one in the early part of May before it, when it's just beginning to flower. In, um, in our control sites. But the seeds on it are um, much smaller than a pea sized, very tiny kind of pea shaped though. And there are little bumps on the seed pod which is unique to oblong spurge. So um, all of those are key ID points. Since this is an A-listed weed in Oregon, it is very important that you let us know if you found this one. Um, we do have an invasive species hotline for reporting the highest priority invasives in the state. That's 1-866-INVADER. So if you find oblong spurge, um, please report it. Call 1-866-INVADER or you can log into OregonInvasivesHotline.org. That's all one word, OregonInvasivesHotline.org. And with that option, you can drop a pin on a map where you found it, give a little bit more description, and um, post some photos. So um, we really do encourage getting photos, but if you at least um, give us a call, we can follow up and get as much more info from you as we need. So Oblong Spurge, this is the Western Oregon specific spurge, 
and when it gets started it grows very densely and crowds out most other vegetation. Um, it likes the Willamette Valley um, habitats, kind of uh, especially in more in open fields, um, disturbed open fields, but it can grow a little bit into the shade as well. So thanks for checking into the greenhouse today. I will see you again. Bye-bye.